don't really not help, but you're, really. you're keeping the faith. We are, as you have to in this game. Absolutely. But we, we, we'll all be there, won't we? Yeah. They open the yeah. yeah, George, you know it. Yeah. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> right, so she's going to be there. Brilliant, that's one person. <laughs> that's not even James's wages covered. But... <laughs> Depends how much his taster menu is, I suppose. <laughs> 1,200 courses, 4,000. Now, when you guys went to Raymond Blanc, I mean, Raymond Blanc's a legend, isn't he? Uh, I used to work for Raymond, Raymondo. But he, he speaks really highly of you. Really? How was that as an experience? So honestly, uh, he does. It was an amazing experience. The guy is a legend. Le Manoir is a legend who plays. So yeah. you go there every day, you learn something new. It's fantastic. As yeah. you well know from being there yourself. So. Great. Okay, so these guys got about... 20, how long have we got left? Uh, Timekeeper, is that the time on your rig? So about ten minutes. Ten minutes. How long does your lamb need? Fifteen. So about ten minutes. Cracking. <laughs> Seems fair. What are you doing? Twenty minutes left. I think is what she's trying to say. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. <laughs> your your clock's working quick. Two. Right, right. I might have to chef this hardcore with timing, or is it just this kind of arbitrary as well? So, uh, no, it's slightly less arbitrary, unfortunately. Oh, okay. But uh, it's much more fun to work uh, with these more flexible timings, I think. Yeah. I mean, that MasterChef thing, I mean, you just saw the winner be announced on MasterChef. Yeah. And I, I, I'm always the guy in the tuxedo that comes along and eats all the food. It's great. Um, but what you, what's it like when you get told, literally on the day, that you're going to be cooking for all these mixing and stuff? Oh, God. When, when we, when we had to do the same thing, it was terrifying. You, walk, you don't know who you're cooking for until you walk out with that plate and you, you're surrounded by people you've admired and respected for years. So it's pretty hideous, actually. But then, if it goes well, it's an amazing, amazing well, you, experience, a real honour. Well, you did really a great job. I mean, I remember sat there eating the food and thinking, oh my God, this is incredible. I wouldn't have wanted to cook for the people that you cook for. So, I mean, I mean what do you think of this year's master chef? I've got to say, um, I thought it was amazing. I thought the standard was another, you know, yeah. no offence, Drew. I think it was a natural progression. Yeah, cheers, Ali. Keep the just backtrack a little bit. Just come out now. <laughs> you find the standard in Sorry. Sorry. And, uh, I'm not coming back, Ali. I thought they were equal, if not worse, than last year. So. <laughs> <laughs> Save. Um, no, it was amazing. The food was incredible, you know. They... So, we, do you all reckon the white person won? Yeah. yeah! I did so. He did a great job. He was fantastic. It was pretty awesome. It's these kind of crazy ways of thinking which is just so, so great. So, yeah. Yeah, great. no, good. So, what's going on on the... Get, a, get, get an update over there. What's going on there, Chef? Come on. No, I'm not really. I'm just chilling out. Really? Yeah. Um, Brilliant. It's good to know. Yeah, it's good to know. Is it's it because you cheated and did everything at home? No, it did, definitely did not cheat and do everything at home. Well... Definitely did not. I think these purees are pretty kind of far off. I bought the purees for you at your uh, last year. Nothing wrong with that, it beat you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so over here we're preparing some squid, yeah? That's just, right, yeah. I'm just scoring it on both sides. Uh -huh. Sorry, on the same side, but in both directions. That kind of it looks quite pretty, but it also opens up the uh, surface area. So yeah. you have those lovely spices all over the squid. Nice, uh, nice technique.